I'd like to call the finance meeting to order. We're going to get started with resolution number one, um, authorization to contract with Leiden Kudutz for, I think that's what it is, for LGBTQ plus staff development trading. We have a motion. Second. Motion in the second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Resolution number two. Authorization for the Department of Human Services to fill one vacant account clerk. Move we'll we'll Second. Motion in the second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Number three. Authorization for the Department of Human Services to fill one soon to be vacant and budgeted. I'll move it. Second. second. Motion in the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Resolution number four, authorization for the Department of Human Services to contract with Columbia Green Community College for part-time behavioral health services. Move it. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Resolution number five, authorization for the Department of Human Services to enter into contract with Maxim Healthcare Staffing Services. Move it. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Number six. Authorization for DSS to fill one social welfare examiner position, grade 12A. Move it. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Number seven, authorization for DSS to fill one community services aid position, grade 10A, base salary $40,000. Move it. We have a motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Number eight, authorization to DSS to fill one administrative Move assistant it. position. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Resolution number nine, authorization for DSS to enter into an agreement with Columbia County Recovery Kitchen for the provision of Move. meals. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Number 10, authorization for DSS to enter into an agreement with Unlimited Care, Inc., for the provision of independent Move medical it. reviews. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. We're going to move on to public safety. Resolution number 11. Authorization for Columbia County to renew the contract with Ernest Ryan Investigators, LLC. Move it. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Number 12. Authorization for Columbia County to renew contracts with four arraignment Move attorneys. It. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Carried. Number 13, authorization to fill one vacant budgeted full time deputy shepherd sheriff Aye. position. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Number 14, authorization to fill a vacant budgeted full time correction position. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Number 15, authorization to upgrade a correction offers a position to Move it. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Number 16, authorization to fill a current budgeted senior auto mechanic one position. Move it. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Number 17, authorization for sheriff's office vehicle to be cleared surface surface property. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Number 18, authorization for sheriff's office vehicle to be declared surplus. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <clears throat> Carry. We can get any money, good money for these when they. No, I think so. Jim's over there now. <laughs> <laughs> I think last year we made like 20 grand. Okay. Now some of these are rather pretty good. We saw them. Bus, you got like eighteen hundred dollars for us. Yes, I remember that was Rob Fox. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, let me see. Nineteen, I believe. Right. Move it. Yeah. Second. Motion to the second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. I wasn't. Okay, we're going to go into county government number twenty. Authorization. Move it. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, Opposed? Did second. Sorry, Carried. I did the second. Okay. Thank you. Number 21. Authorization for the chairman and board of supervisors to enter contracts with multiple providers for Medicare Advantage insurance plans for Columbia Move County. Second. Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Number 22. Authorization for the director of human resources to transfer 32000 Second. Motion in a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. 
Number 23, authorization to revise the Columbia County Commercial Driver's License, CDL, drug and alcohol test. Second. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Number 24, authorization for Board of Elections. Move it. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Number 25, authorization to appoint a member to the Environmental Management Council uh, representing the Move city that. of Hudson. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Number 26, authorization for the county clerk. One DMV motor Move vehicle. It. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Number 27, authorization to enter into a contract with Gila LLC DBA Municipal Services Bureau to provide credit Move card it. payments. Before we move that, and PJ, are you involved in this? I know that you were talking about bidding out that service for solid waste to a different type of vendor for credit cards. We handle everything through our office except the MV. Okay. All the other departments. All right. Okay. This, this is separate. Okay. Well, this is going to the county clerk's part. Right. Okay. So it's probably tied in with the state. I'm going to guess. What are we paying? Do you know? Um, we don't pay anything. Okay, they handle municipality, we're not allowed to pay. But what, what is the charge? What are we charging them? You know, uh, it varies. It's usually a certain dollar. Usually, amount. it's a percentage. Yeah, yeah it's a certain wondering. percentage if it's less. Money. And this was being charged back to them, but just as a vendor, I didn't know if it was a vendor we should be looking at for other departments too, or I, I don't she know. She did say other county clerk's offices in the state. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think we just switched them up to it. Yeah. Is the 600. The right price on the machines, or is that yeah, is that actually, a big? Some of the vendors that we're betting right now to the new are like nine hundred or a thousand, but we're negotiating that. Okay. okay. Yeah. I just didn't. I, she brought that up at county government. I didn't know if you were aware that they were. Doing yeah, that. I'm sure that's probably tied into the county clerks. Okay. Okay. So number twenty-seven. Do we have a motion? We have a motion and a second. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Then move on to public works. Authorization to fill one vacant budgeted Move. voting. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Number 29. Authorization to abolish one MEO1 position and create and fill one skilled labor Move position. It. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Number 30. Authorization to fill one vacant budgeted assistant general farmer position and all vacancies therefrom. Move it. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Number 31. Authorization to declare the following vehicle surplus equipment. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. On this one, this number 32, um, this goes to Tony's, correct? This is the one we changed. Is this a dump body? body? Yeah. yeah. This is a dump body. Change the Tony. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. is a new truck. He changed it from the truck it's, to the dump body. Yeah. But he was also buying a truck. There is a truck, but right. yeah, we changed. There was two trucks, and then we took one truck out and put a dump body in for the. Is that other truck on next year's budget? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. And is this put put, that putting that that dump body on here? Is that truck worth it? That's resurrecting one of the 2008s that okay. we're thinking okay. we're going to have to replace, but we can get some more time out of it. Is the plan? It's still still pretty decent. The truck's in good shape. Oh, okay. and, yeah. the body was shot, and they put a stainless steel on this. Okay. So that's why. And then a lot of it was, you know, we can't even get the ones that we ordered. So mm -hmm. this was going to get one on the road this winter. Gotcha. Uh, so we okay. felt it was worth doing. So. so resolution number thirty-two, authorization to purchase. Move it. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? All right. All right. Opposed? Carried. Number thirty-three, authorization to enter into a new printer, copy, a scanner. Move it. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Number 34. Authorization to award the bid for Spartan Chemical Dispenser Rental and Cleaning Supplies for Cleaning and Maintenance of County Move Buildings. It. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Resolution number 35. Authorization for the Commissioner of Public Works to award and provide Move. a notice. Okay. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Economic development number 36. Authorization to affirm the payment in lieu of taxes. Yeah, I'm going to ask to pull this one. We did talk to Mike Tucker about this. That we moved it through economic development with the idea that we would have some amendments before finance, but we didn't get those. Mostly the Schedule A attachment is 
not been supplied by the developer okay. in those two contracts. So um, uh, we can hold it. And my idea is, is an economic development said move it with the modification. We didn't get the modifications, but next month we could tend to the finance okay. if it's okay. if we get the proper. So, award. Will so everyone okay? We just like to hold that. And so okay. All right. I'll, do you make a motion to pull it? Yes. yes. All right. I'll second it. Have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. We move on to finance resolution number thirty-seven. Resolution to approve capital project critical and emergency repair. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Resolution number 38, authorization to transfer funds to the capital funds and amend the 2023 Move budget. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay. Is there anyone else who has anything to bring before finance committee? I have, I have a question um, about 11 Warren Street and maybe people here, maybe the chairman knows. My understanding was that we had committed to ensuring that we found a new home for the youth program that's currently there. There was two different times that that was brought up. Supervisor Cousins brought up, you know, there's this really successful youth program in place at 11 Warren Street and, you know, we shouldn't displace them. And there was an agreement, although not an official vote, I didn't even. We know. I don't know about they were there. there. I don't remember like the green. I know it was discussion. Bard College was there. We knew that contract was there when we when CEDC was doing the negotiations, but we were never aware of this youth group being there. And 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 that's that's actually isn't really our issue. That's really to do with the owner of the building right now. So I think what might have happened is I think some of us thought we were talking about Bard College, and some of us thought that we were talking about this youth group. Bard was in in the original paperwork with the contract that we did not nothing else was in that contract except part and we agreed to let them stay till the end of the school right. year in 2000 and were they the group that we talked about helping find a new home for because i know that was a conversation claire had brought it up and i, I believe it wasn't because not until recently did i even realize or yeah. most of us didn't realize that the other group was in there so i think what happened because it was claire that brought it to our attention and I think what happened is Claire, and I understood what she was talking about, certainly Michael understood what she was talking about, brought up, hey, wait a minute, there's this really successful youth program, you know, mm -hmm. and, and we said, well, let's let's make a commitment to help find them a new home. A group of us thought we were talking about Bard College. I had no idea that Bard College was even in there. Claire, who you. brought it up, was the one who brought it up because it was this right. youth group. Right. And so... You know, yes, from a legal standpoint, it's Galvin's responsibility. We, when we and turned around and, and I was in part of that discussion that night after the meeting, and um, I was aware of what you were saying, but um, I knew it also was a Galvin issue, and we didn't really want to be in the middle of that. You know, if there was a way that we could, you know, find something to help them out, I mean, and I know none of us had an issue with it. Actively working with, but we knew, find them a new, you know, location. Yeah. Uh, but Eleven Warren was specifically spelled out in a very specific way to make it profitable and make it work for us, and, and right. we didn't want to change that. So that's why we were like, okay, Galvin's. This is Galvin's issue. He's going to have to deal with that. Yeah. If we could help somewhere, sure we would. But tenants? Eleven Warren needed to stay there. How yeah. many tenants in total? I was only aware of the one group. But so we group. walked the building. And the only tenant that I was aware of was, was Bar and his own. He had his own um, uh, office, office, offices. Office there. Or they really right. weren't offices. They were his maintenance people had an office there. I guess you'd yeah. call it. So that this came up later. Yeah. Yeah. Really. And, did. Um, yeah. You know, it is definitely Galvin's problem. Yeah. Well, we Claire, don't want to take ownership of a building and have to deal with, you know, that by any means, and then we would be the ones potentially kicking them out. Right. What I'm saying is Claire did bring it up right from the beginning. And this was the youth group she was talking about, whether others were aware of what group she was talking about or not. It was definitely a concern brought up by a supervisor who represents the city. Well, we of also did say that that was going to be Galvin's issue. I was there. I mean, we did. We did say that we weren't in the middle of that. He was going to take care of that. If there was a way we can find something, you know, yeah. without an issue, we would not sit back and, and definitely help it. But we had very specific plans for that building for it to work. So I'm not saying that the youth group should stay in 11 more. And let me be clear. That was an ask that they did make at our caucus. I don't think I don't think that's the solution. Right. However, 
I voted yes to this acquisition with two understandings. One was that we were going to help rehome the youth group, which I knew was this youth group that we were talking about. I understand that others did not know that or others had a different understanding as to what group we were talking about. And the second was that we would have public input sessions mm -hmm. to hear, especially from residents. But the public in the input city it has nothing to do with who the tenants, outside tenants were going to be. Right, who we're bringing in for it county It would have to be what county departments. I totally get it. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is even from a legal standpoint, if it's Galvin's problem, I think that the right thing to do, if we can, is to assist in finding a new location for this youth group because they came to our caucus and they were very passionate. There was a large group of them. And I think that it is a group that is making a huge impact to underprivileged youth in the city of Hudson. And I don't think any of us wanna be the one that displaced them, even if legally it's Galvin's responsibility. I think that there's a way Did for us to- you a copy of their lease contract with- I don't think they have point. a lease. No, I think month it's month. month to month. month, to month. Mm -hmm. So again, what I'm saying- I want to see what the obligation was, that's all. I, I don't think there's that. any. And, and again, from a legal standpoint, I get it. The county could be like, that's not our problem. And where's, and where's Hudson that. with this? Where's, well, my, I mean, frankly, Matt and I spoke to Michael Chimides right over here about it. And I said to Michael, what's the city of Hudson doing about it? Yeah. And his answer was, uh, yeah. I thought they were looking at John L. Edwards for that. And there was supposedly something that was yeah, over, here. over here. And I think someone mentioned the library. Is that correct? I, I but then it. someone said it needs a ton of renovation work. Yeah. So I know Mayor Johnson came to that meeting and that meeting was different from what we thought it was going to be. It was going to be this one lady coming to talk to us mm -hmm. about this successful program. I guess flyers went up around the community that we did not know about. And all of a sudden there was 25 people here. Mm -hmm. And we made the decision that we weren't going to turn them away. We were going to listen to sure. them. We did. Um, How many kids are we talking about? I think they said up to 100. And it's not just the city of Hudson. There are groups that come from other towns and other communities. They do the Bindle Stiff Circus is there, which just came to all of our summer camps or a big group of our summer camps. Mm -hmm. um, so there's multiple different programs and programming. And it's actually through, I think, MHAG, it's through something and that they, we help. Yeah, he, yeah. The executive director called me Monday about this issue. And yeah. I told him the same thing I said to the newspaper. Yeah. So, and again, they, like, rent? they are, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. And so again, like I, I just feel like the right thing to do, whether it's something we legally have to do or not, is to try to use resources we might have to see mm -hmm. if it can't be a win-win situation. Because even if legally it's Galvin's problem, it's so not going to be a you good find look. Them another rented spot. I think we should. I think we should try, especially because we help fund the organization that runs them, to see if we can't find. Claire actually mentioned that Galvin well, Bob, owns that is what Bob gets a house is across. Doing, I know. Uh, I, thought, I was just going to say, isn't Bob working, yeah, on, working on that? Yeah. Okay. So technically, we are. I mean, I like the program. I'm not saying I'm against it at yeah, all. Yeah. I'm just talking from our standpoint right. with, with this particular thing. Yeah. And if, if Bob's working on it, then somebody is working on it. I mean, right. How far we can are. we get? I yeah. don't know. I mean, I know they're looking for another location. I thought there was some offer from Galvin for a building across the street. That's what Claire had and mentioned. And I'm not sure if that has park. happened or is going to happen. I don't know that legally. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah. I haven't got a clear answer. We talked to Jeannie Mettler the other day after public works on that. Okay. Too, and she, right. she's she's like, like, why is it the city of Hudson stepping up? I think the county should be helping. And sure. I'm, and I'm yeah, always advocate for youth. I was very yeah. so. I, I understand this, but why aren't they stepping up? I yeah. would imagine the majority of the individuals that are going there from the city of Hudson. A large group. That was part of why that location what? is so, so successful because it's near sure. the the housing where a lot of the the poorer families live. Um, the youth live. center that Hudson has now for I'm not sure. other youth. You know. Yeah. Um, Got a whole new center. I mean, to me, the city of Hudson should be taking the lead on this with some right. assistance from us. But I, I don't, you know, I have no problem giving help. Nor do I. You know, I, I think it's, I think it's great. But you know, I think it was it was poorly, you know, brought to our attention right. because almost like we're the bad guys right. when we didn't even know that they were. Yeah. And then we find yeah. out that Galvin had a month to month lease with them. Yeah. You know, well, and so I think one of the big problems was it again, wasn't apparent that they were there. Like, well, we, was there we, we were there, there but they Bard were, was in there. When they, when they we were knew that. Group, I think yeah. them and Bard, we thought was one right. of the same. Maybe it was I, I think that was part of the problem is well, that, then, you know, Claire together. in our caucus before that first meeting had talked about this youth group. So at least our caucus understood that youth group to be this one. Right. When they said youth group, a large other portion. And, and Bard College is at the other end of the building. so. 
you know, our intention was to potentially get elections down there sooner. We felt right. like that they could stay there longer because right. that would be the first thing we'd be working right. on. And it wouldn't, it's not the space that we were looking did, at. Did Claire talk to Hudson at all? Well, like I said, Mayor Johnson came to that caucus. So I'm going to encourage, you know, Claire and Michael are taking the lead on this. I mm -hmm. said to them, your, your supervisors in Hudson, I will support anything I can. Mm -hmm. Certainly New Lebanon youth isn't coming to this program, but I support is, any program for, sure. you know, helping the youth. So let me know what you need from me. But Claire and Michael seem to be taking the lead. So I will definitely encourage you. I mean, we talked out. with the new the youth director in regards to the monies that we were receiving, remember? And I had recommended the youth center in the county, but right. it wouldn't be in the city of Hudson. It would have to be more centrally located, right. you know, for so that other sure. towns could utilize mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I brought it up, but so this is news to us. Yeah. But, you know. And maybe, you know, maybe if we, that's a longer term solution, but if we did find a good central location, obviously transportation might be an issue, but we could bus. Has there been know. conversation between Galvin and, and uh, you don't know that? I don't think so. And I think part of the problem is that it's actually this mental health. Is it MH? MHC or uh, AG? Uh, mental health uh, of Columbia and Green County. Right. Yeah. So it's that organization that actually was renting it month to month lease. Okay. They got a grant from the state. And the youth group is using it. And they're seems to be little, too. And then, then, yeah. then Galvin's the landlord. Yeah. It seems to be there's very. A, there's a similar program in Green County as well. Right? Okay. They gave grants out for these types of programs. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll you know follow up, and it sounds like nobody's against doing what we can. No. Like yeah, Victor Bob gets in, who yeah. is actively trying to help them too. I know he's I can ask about Dan it the other day. Yeah. 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 Well. Yeah. 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 Ye